A Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you, cried a cheerful voice. It was Scrooge's nephew, Fred. Bah, said Scrooge. Humbug. Christmas a humbug, Uncle, said Fred. You don't mean that, I'm sure. I do, said Scrooge. Merry Christmas? What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. Come then, said the nephew. What reason have you to be morose? You're rich enough. Bah, said Scrooge. Humbug. Don't be cross, uncle, said the nephew. What else can I be, said the uncle, when I live in such a world of fools as this? Merry Christmas? Out upon Merry Christmas. What's Christmas time in you but a time for paying bills without money, for finding yourself a year older but not an hour richer? Uncle, said the nephew. Nephew, replied the uncle. Keep Christmas in your way and let me keep it in mine. Keep it, repeated Scrooge's nephew. But you don't keep it. Let me leave it then, said Scrooge. Much good may it do you. Much good it has ever done you. I have always thought of Christmas as a good time. A kind, forgiving, charitable time. I believe that it has done me good and will do me good. I say, God bless it. Without thinking, Bob clapped his hands. Scrooge turned to his assistant. Another sound from you, he said, and you'll be losing your job this Christmas. Don't be angry, Uncle. Come, dine with us tomorrow. No, I want nothing from you. I ask nothing of you. Why cannot we be friends? Good afternoon, said Scrooge. I am sorry with all my heart. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Good afternoon, said Scrooge. His nephew left the room without an angry word.